Okay, so uh, uh, my name is uh, Zhi Tingling. Uh, I'm from the um, Byton team, the smart contract team team. And uh, so um, now today, I'm gonna give a presentation uh, of the uh, our uh, equity language. So um, uh, that's a Byton smart contract called equity. Um, so now I'm gonna uh, separate today's lecture into four main parts. So um, the first one, I'm gonna give a, a very short introduction of what a smart contract is. So um, a smart contract is a, a computer agreement that you can store uh, a, on a digital way and, um, and everything will be on chain. And it's just, uh, you, don't need to, you don't need to trust uh, like a third party uh, trust agency. Everything is trustable and irreversible. Like it's pretty, um, pretty trust, trustful. And uh, there are two type of uh, there are two type of model like um, in the blockchain. So the first one uh, is UTXO based, and the other one is uh, account based. So UTXO based is uh, our Python and Bitcoin. Like we create a script and store and uh, store, store it in the, in the contract uh, output there. Uh, while the account base, such as uh, Ethereum, you need like a certain, certain place of uh, Ethereum to store the uh, actual, um, actual uh, smart contract. The main difference is uh, the analog matter. That's the main difference between uh, UTXO based and account based. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much what a smart contract is. So um, I'm gonna give an uh, introduce of our uh, equity language. Um, so uh, our Python is a multi-assert uh, UTXO blockchain, which we could support, um, we could support uh, several uh, assets. Uh, you could create your own Python, BTC, BTM, yeah, and uh, Ethereum on our blockchain. You just uh, like a new asset, issue a set. Um, for uh, for uh, equity is our Python smart contract language. So the uh, um, the uh, important part of uh, our smart contract is that all the uh, value we could lock all the uh, value as uh, uh, assert amount of assert of blockchain and store it inside it, and the contract could protect the uh, uh, assert of amount by using the verify condition just to check uh, if it's reached the condition. The verify statement. If we reach the condition, then you go next step, right? Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you like. Um, how to write a smart contract. So the contract composition, uh, the smart contract is normally begin with the word contract, followed by the name, the contract name, which you, you could define by your own. This is the identifier. And inside you put the parameter. The parameter, uh, it, could, it, it must to have at least one parameter to uh, write the uh, smart contract. Uh, it can be like one or multiple like parameters. Yeah, as, as long as you want. And you log, you create your own asset. That's the uh, type of asset, which means the set value. And you issue your own amount of asset. And you could decide like how many amount of asset, amount of asset you want to lock inside a contract. So that's what the uh, value amount and the value of set means. That means you could lock the, um, uh, the amount of a set inside the locked. And inside the bracket, we put like clause there. So you need to have at least one clause and you can have as many clauses as you want. Like one clause means one unlock method. Like a different way the clause means a different way to unlock contract. You could choose your um, you could choose uh, which clause you want to execute like uh, in the uh, unlock method there. So um, 
uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, how to write the uh, uh, clause, uh, the clause composition. Um, like inside the uh, contract, we need to write uh, several clause. This is a one one clause, like uh, the format of one clause. How to write? How how are we gonna write it? So one clause means one unlock method, and we need to verify the condition inside the clause to see if it's match the um, condition. If if it match the condition, so we could unlock uh, our chosen one, our our own uh, contract. So the contract format, uh, the clause uh, for format is uh, every uh, every clause is uh, describe uh, unlock UTXO um, needed condition and method. So one clause um, is normally start with a clause, and then it followed by the uh, clause name, which is the identifier you could define by your own. And inside the bracket, that's the uh, unlock parameter unlock parameter that you're gonna put it inside a unlock parameter. And inside the um, bracket, uh, the uh, bracket, yeah, we have to uh, put the uh, statement inside the clause. So every clause ma must include like at least one statement. The statement is for that um, uh, we use verify to, um, uh, to see if it's met the uh, condition. Okay, next, I'm gonna talk about like, how are we gonna write statement? Well, inside the statement, we could use one of the, uh, we could use uh, uh, this one of the six uh, statement below. So uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about like uh, uh, the unlock statement. So the unlock statement here, okay, yeah, I'm gonna show you the unlock statement here. So it has to be written in the format like this. Unlock uh, the uh, value asset and of the value, value amount of value asset. This means that anyone can take the uh, assert that you locked uh, in your lock, lock before it. And the second one is that the lock value of uh, asset with a program. This means that uh, the, uh, the a set of amounts, say uh, 100 of BTC that you locked before, this can only be um, uh, unlocked by the certain person. So uh, the certain person, like uh, the certain receiver or certain person, uh, since one, uh, one account could create either one address, uh, it could create one or multiple like address, but one address is uh, relevant to one program. So only the uh, program that you, um, only the person that you, uh, that you say before, uh, that you enter or specify before, only that person can receive the uh, amount. So that's the uh, main two differences between the uh, unlock uh, statement or the lock and the lock statement. Lock uh, can only um, lock by, um, can only be a, uh, uh, a receiver can only be verified by the certain address. And the uh, verify expression means that uh, it has to uh, verify to and execute the uh, expression. If it's, if it's reached the uh, Boolean type true, and then we execute to the, continue to the execution, otherwise just exist. And define an identifier, identifier name. That's uh, that's just what it is. And then assign an identifier to an expression, and then an if else statement. Yeah. And uh, next one. Oh, how am I gonna get this? How am I gonna get this uh, screenshot? Oh. It's okay. So. Sorry. Um, okay. Cool. okay, so um, this is the uh, um, expression part. Expression, uh, it might be, it's only like a mainly use inside your verify statement. Like we verify 
say uh, we have like pretty um, uh, program like comparison, like bigger than, smaller than bigger or equal, less than or equal, 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 not equal. That's used only like inside a verified condition, say verify uh, a block high uh, bigger than like 100 or like a verify to see if it's reach some other condition, something like that. And we have uh, some other like um, operation like string type operations. And um, other operation, if you are interested, you can know that it's like a negative one. This is negative. And second one is convert a string to bits. And it, third one is uh, expression itself. And fourth one is function core. The fifth one is the uh, list. And the last one is pretty much um, followed by two hex and string of n bytes. Yeah, if you are interested in getting to know like other operation, and we have uh, our building function like equity building function. So um, um, the first one uh, absolute value. The second one like uh, check the minima of x and y or the um, Maxima uh, of the uh, x and y, and the third one is like um, size take the uh, length of a string s, uh, concatenate s and s one and s two means that concatenate two string and produce a new string, uh, concat push s one s two, a new string generating by concatenating s one and s two and putting it, it in on a VM stack um, below a block high, say uh, if it's reaching or below a block high or like a, about a, about a block high, that's a, if uh, above a block high, we could verify condition. And there are shashi, uh, shashi hash of a string and SHA-256 is extra SHA-3256 string, uh, hash of a byte string. And check a transaction signature, that means to check a key, a public key, to verify the transaction signature to see if it's a correct and returnable type. And check a multiple signature, uh, one key means like one password, normally like a one key means like multi, uh, one password in Python. So like a multiple site, we could check like, um, cause some uh, account or some account or a stack could, re uh, uh, could require two or three or so many like um, uh, key to um, make it work, make the uh, transaction work. So we need to check like a multiple site, like key one, key two, key three to see if it's, if it's, um, uh, if it's corresponding, if all the passwords are passed. Okay, so like um, after you know how to write your own smart contract, you can compile your own uh, smart contract. Um, the compile interface, uh, we normally have like two par uh, JSON parameter, two JSON uh, parameters. The first one is uh, contract. Well, inside a contract, you put the uh, contract you made before. And the second one is the par uh, arguments. The arguments correspond to the uh, uh, parameters that you uh, specify on your log uh, on your log uh, uh, contract statement inside here. Like for for example, here the uh, argument like uh, argument uh, one argument here just corresponds to the public you spec you specify on the bracket inside here. So um, uh, so um, the uh, argument type is like string integer pooling type is normally this type. And once it's compiled, it's gonna return, uh, it's gonna result a, a, a name and a program uh, and the uh, OP code and something, something like a contract format or something like that. And like, uh, uh, and here's the important things, we're gonna, um, we're gonna uh, write down uh, the uh, result program. Because the result program, um, we could use that to find like uh, which output output that is stored. 
Okay, yeah, if you are interested, like uh, here's the, uh, ad, uh, the uh, address of our um, Byterna smart contract document. Um, I'm gonna show you how to, like, uh, I'm gonna give you guys like two equity example here. The first one is uh, trade offer contract. Trade offer means that like, uh, say uh, a seller A want to trade the um, amount of say BTM or BTC or Ethereum to uh, buyer, buyer, buyer B and buyer B will offer a, a like a, a say seller A want to trade 10 uh, BTC to a, a, a buyer B and buyer B will offer a payment of like a five or six or a USD or something, some issue that you, uh, some asset that you issue on the button. So um, we gonna, um, so like the, uh, so the contract here, we have uh, the log uh, statement here. The log statement will require like uh, for, for um, parameter here, it means that uh, the uh, asset request means uh, means that say uh, the uh, uh, USD that you want to exchange with the uh, local set and amount says five five BT, BTC, right? And uh, and you could check uh, and you could choose to uh, trade uh, like uh, like as I say before the log amount requests of a value with seller. This means that the seller is the only one that spend the uh, uh, amount of uh, requests of amount, say USDT, like five USDT. And unlock um, value amount of a seller means that like anyone can trade this. Like the unlock, unlock value says like five BTC can go to anyone as long as you have five but uh, you have you could uh, as long as you have the uh, uh, amount request of the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, USDT, and the uh, seller could also do the uh, cancel cancel program. If uh, he doesn't, if uh, the seller doesn't want to sell it anymore, you could go to you could select your own cancel cancel clause here. Like you could just just input your uh, password and then the the value you lock say uh say uh six USDT then you will go back to your own account. So yeah, we have two clouds here means two uh unlock matter, and one contract the contract parameter means the uh, lock matter. Okay, so uh we I'm gonna show you the uh contract like lock position. Uh, this is the contract that we uh, we're gonna use today to show you the example. So uh, here's the uh, contract for uh, lock position. This means that uh, we're gonna lo uh, we're gonna give our um, lock amount of reserve to a certain person, the saver, once it's about the expired uh, block high, and also uh, if it's the um, also, we're gonna check the uh, a signature that we enter is the signature uh, that we locked. So that's the same person. So in the lock pro in the lock procedure, that we're gonna sh uh, we're gonna input we're gonna decide like uh, uh, who which block height that we wanna that we wanna uh, use uh, which block height above which block height that we're gonna. Um, give the uh, uh, amount of uh, assert to the certain person. And um, the certain person is a uh, saver. Saver is the certain person that you want to give here. And the uh, public key is to only verify that's the same person you put, you lock the value, you need the same person to unlock the value. Okay, and uh, okay. And then, yeah, we have uh, several uh, smart contract template. If you are interested, you could visit our website. Um, we have uh, like multiple, multi size and check size, and yeah, there are so uh, there are around eight or nine. 
a smart contract template that you could try to uh, to see if it's like uh, to learn it and you could try to run it if you are interested. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you the uh, equity demo right now. Okay, so first one is to set up your uh, uh, environment and your account. Okay, now I'm gonna go to our um, Python website. Okay. Go to our Python website. Just a second. Okay, you could go to your or you could go to our Python website and download the uh, Python wallet uh curious one to uh the system you have. Windows, Mac, Linux. And yeah, um, um, I'm using that, so I'll, I'll just click download here and it will download the uh, newest one. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna uh, spend the time here. Okay. Okay. Um. No. Okay. So uh, once you uh once you download your um once you download your uh, uh your Python, you could just you could just run your Python wallet, and then it will put up this uh this uh, uh Python wallet interface here. And you could choose uh, which uh, network you want to join. The main network is the actual production network. And the solo net is normally the, your own solo, your own person's network. And the test net, uh, you could develop with other tester. So yeah, I'm gonna join our solo net. And here, yeah, you could create your own account. Just click on create wallet, your own account, say uh, Alex or yeah, and key and the password. Just remember your password here and then go to next step. And you have the uh, uh, mnemonic here and you can state, you have to like write it down and store it in a secure location. Uh, using the seed, you could uh, reset your own password. Okay, now you have your uh, Python set up here. Yeah, you have your own account and your own reset. And yeah, and no balance here. So uh, uh, you're gonna like go to the uh, course step and then go to the uh, mining. <laughs> Yeah, and mining. And you have to wait at least like around 100, like 100 block high here. The highest block uh, must be like at least 100. So that your um, amount of BTN is matured. So on that way, you could start your uh, own um, smart contract. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use what I have before. Second. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use, because uh, just saving the time, I'm gonna use the um, uh, the data that I, that I already mining like yesterday. 
So okay, so the current high, like say right now, is like around one or like two, like two hundred right now. Okay. Uh, it's two hundred right now, and right now, okay. So now you could uh, start issue your own asset right now. Like, how, how are you gonna uh, issue your own asset? Just go to the uh, asset page. Asset page. Hmm. Okay, go to your own asset page and then create your new asset. Say you want to do like a BTC and the symbol is a BTC. And a token reissuable, okay, this can be a reissuable. And then go to next. And then seek back your existing keys, the key that we created before. And then submit. Okay, so you create your own asset right now. And now the second step, you're gonna issue the asset that you want, uh, say like how many BTC you want. So you go to the, you click the uh, issue asset on the right of the uh, asset page. Just BTC here, you go to the uh, issue asset page here. That's the set ID and the, uh, okay. oh, before that you have to do like, uh, okay, we could, we're gonna, uh, yeah, okay. Just Alex account, that's okay. Okay, you're gonna copy the uh, account of um, uh, account that you want uh, the uh, uh, the um, asset to be issued. Say I want to issue like a, a hundred or like thousand of BTC into uh, into the uh, Alex here. So yeah, you could just copy the uh, Alex address and then go to the issue page. And to guess paid account, Alex here, that you make sure you have enough BTN here, or else it would not be success. And the uh, BTC is at the address and the amount, just say more, whatever you want. Okay, that's the uh, issue is set. And then submit the transaction to blockchain. Yes, automate, generate, okay. Okay, so we issue like uh, uh, like uh, 200,000 BTC to uh, Alex account. And from here, like you see the unconfirmed transaction. So you have to go mining to start mining it. And wait until the uh, block height increased. Say so we got like a uh, one uh, one uh, one hundred and okay ninety six okay ninety seven now okay and then yeah it should issue fully issue and then you got the uh, conferred transaction here and it's conferred and um, we have uh, like a uh, to um, 200,000 of BTC in Alex account. Go to balance and check. Yeah, we have a uh, 200, like um, sell some BTC in our account now. And uh, what's the next step? Oh, let me see. And yeah, after issue or set, uh, issue or set one uh, step, you could create your own log contract. Well, the log contract, uh, you could create like, a, there are two ways to create your uh, log contract. Um, we have like a dashboard way and a written on API way. Uh, but the dashboard is like, a, there's only certain like three or eight or nine like contract template. 
show you a little bit to the images. So uh, there's a like equity contract, you could go here. And yeah. Uh, and, um, and yeah, here's the uh, like a um, uh, small contract that you could use. You could use the low to see if it's working. This traded offer is the one that I talked before. You could try to play around with the um, dashboard here. There are several like uh, contract template here. Uh, I'm gonna use the one like uh, lock. Uh, I'm gonna use the one lock position that we talked before. Okay. Okay. So you, I'm gonna use the one the this uh, great uh, lock position that we talk. Uh, about uh, before, so uh, you could just copy your um, the sample contract lock uh, lock position, and then create your own the uh, uh, create your own contract uh, script API that we talked before. Okay. Well, yeah, see the, uh, we have a, a the script here that uh, I talked before. Now you have to uh, enter the contract, and then inside the contract, inside the contract, you could um, inside the contract, you could see uh, if it's uh, you, you could just copy uh, the log contract that we used before. You could just copy it inside the uh, uh, contract parameter here, and from the arguments. Here that we have a expired block high, so the current block high right now I think is uh, like 100, 197 right now. So we could do say like uh, 200 now. The 200 we could try that. Uh, when it's uh, so the condition it has to met uh, the unlock uh, condition is that above 200 right verified at above block high. And the signature, we could, uh, how do we get the uh, saver program means the person that you want to save, that you wanna, uh, you wanna give the uh, address. Um, we could create another account actually to show this. We could create another account, say uh, Bob, you want to give the, uh, uh, you want to give the uh, uh, BTC to Bob. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, here's Bob. So uh, once the uh, Bob uh, can agree, we need an address. So just go create an address here. Uh, actually the program here. We copy the um, one address to respond to one control program. Copy the program here and store somewhere safe. And okay, just store somewhere safe here. Um, and then we could just copy the program saver here. That's the Bob you want to give the money to. And what's the third string? 
that's the uh, the person that you need to verify the signature. It means that's the uh, only person that's uh, able to be unlocked the um, matter. Verify the signature. So uh, how do we get the uh, public key? Um, we need to use the list public key. Okay, I create a new share. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do a uh, least public key here. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use the least public key here, uh, the uh, postman here to just post. So I'm gonna use Alex public key. Okay, so here's the uh, Alex public. So I'm gonna copy the uh, Alex account ID and copy here. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. And uh, we have a uh, we have the following um, public key uh, here. You could pick any one of them uh, on the public key there, but be sure to uh, copy the, uh, not only the public key, but also the uh, derivative path. So yeah, you could choose any one, like um, any one of the public key from the uh, public key info. Um, but we need, no, I normally choose uh, anyone, just anyone could be okay. I chose the first one. And yeah, store your public key information somewhere saved. And then copy your public key, uh, public key that you just store to the um, to the um, to the uh, JSON the compile data there. To compile data there. So that's the uh, third uh, that's the uh, third parameter that we use here. Once you have that, you could compile your own data into a control program. Say a compile program. Yeah, you could compile your own data here. Enter and then we got a status like success here, and the name is lock position. And here's the contract code here, parameter here. And as I mentioned before, uh, the only thing that we need to write down here is our program here. We need to write down our program here. That's our uh, compile contract program code here. We need to write it down and store somewhere safe. Okay, once we have the program here, we're gonna do the uh, build construction, uh, build transaction uh, procedure. So the okay, so we have our uh, build transaction here. So the, uh, uh, inside the, uh, uh, I'm gonna give this slide here. Inside the um, uh, the inside the list, the first object means that uh, the account that you want to spend the gas. Uh, so here our account like Alex uh, account ID is Alex Alex that I want to spend uh, the um, uh, the uh, amount of uh, BTN here. So one thing to remind that since um, the BTN is like based on like uh, atom, so 
Um, as you can see here, as you can see, okay, wait a minute. As you can see here in our set here, say a BTM here, we have like a decimal A. So the, uh, we, what we store on the blockchain is like there's no decimal. So we need to uh, like uh, amount that you issue, you, you must to like multiply like one to the power of A, or one, one times uh, 10 to the power of A. And um, the issue, the asset that we issued just now is BTC, right? So this decimal is like uh, A here. So um, inside here, you have to, like the amount that you want to, um, want to do it in the transaction, you have to times like 10 to the, like decimal that you defined before. Say uh, 10 to the decimal of A, 10 or three or, um, or whatever. Uh, the one that you uh, defined before. So right now here, like um, uh, this, uh, the first object here is uh, means that the Alex, uh, the account that you want to spend, uh, like uh, the BTN for the BTN is for the gas, and the second amount here means uh, the second object inside the uh, action means that uh, the amount of value, uh, amount of assert that you want to lock inside the. Um, that you want to lock inside the uh, contract program. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna copy the, uh, I'm gonna copy uh, BTC, right? BTC assert ID. Okay, here's the uh, uh, assert ID, right? So I'm gonna copy the, uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay, yeah, you're gonna copy the uh, BTC assert ID. So uh, here, right? And then uh, here is uh, a SIR ID as well, the program that will receive the SIR ID. That's, um, uh, that's the uh, control pro uh, contract that you created before. And here I just want to lock 100 of our BTC, right? So uh, 100 times uh, 10 to the multiple, uh, multiple of uh, a, 10 to the power of a. So here's audium. And uh, for the contract here, you copy the uh, uh, BTC here as well. And the contract program is the program that we compile um, before. So we just copy the uh, control program and replace it. Okay, so now we got the uh, build data. Yeah, so now we got our build data. And then we could go to do the um, uh, post like contra uh, the build transaction procedure. Okay. Hey, be sure, just be sure that you can see this file. Okay. okay, now once you build, you see the um, uh, you saw your um, starter is success, right? And uh, here, uh, what we need to store is uh, everything inside the data bracket here. We're gonna use that for uh, for the uh, uh, submit and side procedure later. So you're gonna st uh, store everything inside the uh, everything inside the data here and store it somewhere safe. Okay, the next step we have, once we have their raw data, we're gonna do the side and submit transaction. 
Now we can use the dash dashboard to um, to simplify uh, the side and SME uh, transaction here. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we go to the uh, transaction here and uh, new transaction here. We go to the advance here and show the advance option here. That's the position like side and side transaction. And we copy the data that we copy before, the row transaction data that we have before, like the row transaction is the main part. Yeah, we just copy and paste right here. And we have to submit it to the blockchain. The password, we had just entered the password, um, uh, the password that we want to sign. I think it's public here, right? Okay. So the password we have here. And then we go to submit transaction. Okay, right now. Right now, we uh, spend like 100 BTC out of Alex account. We log it into the contract here. Okay, this is an unconfirmed transaction, right? So that's the contract program that we logged. And this is the uh, output ID that we may need it later. Okay, so I'm gonna go mining to make this transaction on chain. And to unlock the uh, contract, we have to make it at least like 100, right? That we say at least current block, we need to at least 100, otherwise it would be fail. So we just go like uh, above uh, 100, 200, sorry. Okay, it's 200 right now, right? So uh, we're gonna find, like, this is the transaction that we uh, we locked before. We lock it into uh, this control program. So just read it, store that uh, output ID somewhere. Copy the output ID somewhere, right? Okay. So I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a spot on how to unlock the contract. So yeah, uh, so first, uh, just pretty much the same as before. We need to uh, build our uh, con unlock contract uh, transaction. Apply here, okay. Okay, so here's the uh, unlock uh, build data uh, JSON. So we have uh, a three um, action object here. So the first one is uh, spend account and spend the output. This is the uh, unlock unlock uh, matter here. So the output output ID is the one that we just copied uh, before. The uh, the corresponding uh, control program output ID. And inside the argument, we need to see like, uh, as I showed before, like uh, uh, the contract, uh, the, uh, let me see. Okay, as we show here, like um, the uh, argument that we input for the unlock uh, procedure, it must be like uh, the signature, right? And the signature must be verified. We have to meet this condition, verify the check signature uh, equal to the public signature. So uh, what I copied before is the first public key of Alex. So uh, in here, we, so we have to uh, just paste the same exact Alex public key signature as well.
So uh, here's the uh, transaction type. Here's the uh, trans the signature type, right? So what I have the row transaction type must be uh, exact the same type before the chop up uh, sir root chop up and the derivative path is um, this derivative path derivative path is this yeah okay derivative path is this the chop up is a uh, root chop up uh, which you could find um which you could find on the dashboard i think yeah i think dashboard as well or the uh, command line you can also find it on the command line or the dashboard say uh, alex right here that's a uh, uh, account chop up here it has to be yeah you could just copy it for the account chop up here and for the uh what else what else and the second um the second uh the second uh parameter uh, the second uh, action object here is that uh that we need to have the uh, btc assert id here the uh, unlock command that you want to unlock it has to be exact the same that we have before so the um, btc assert id and 100 btc and the control program uh the control program as the the um, uh, that's another one, uh, another uh, specification on the um, uh, on the contract that we met here. Okay, so the contract program here it must be locked the uh, amount of a service only saver. So the uh, uh, the program that I used before is the Bob's address, right? So I'm gonna copy the uh, control program and paste here. Please Bob's control program. That's a Bob control program and paste here. And the third object is uh, the uh, you want to spend a, a gas, BTN gas, right? So yeah, as well I want to spend it from uh, the account Alex. Okay. So after this, we could we will do the uh, build transaction uh, as before as well. Okay, so uh, we build the uh, uh, unlock data and it's success. And the same procedure for our site and Samia as well. We just copy the uh, row transaction part and we copy that and use our dashboard to site and Samia as well. Advance here, site and submit. Okay. Okay, now you see that Bob got the uh, 100 BTC that I locked before. So uh, what, I'm, what I've been waiting now is that we're gonna wait this transaction to convert. Wait a minute, more guys, 201. Okay, now you can see that. Um, okay, cool. Now you can see that we just um, unlock our uh, smart contract into the uh, account Bob. So, uh, 
So uh, yeah, that you finish the uh, step of uh, lock and unlock procedure. So that's a uh, smart control procedure. Okay. Um, yeah, just uh, for the uh, just build your unlock uh, transaction, and um, and then you build and submit and. That's the uh, unlocked procedure. Then now you already go through um, the procedure of uh, lock and unlock. So uh, you could now try to uh, write your own smart contract and you could do your um, lock and unlock procedure right now. So uh, yeah, I think that's the end. <laughs>